I'm going to miss uh, a number of things. Uh, firstly, the uh, ability to affect people's lives in a significant way in your writing. When they come to you with real issues, everyday issues, real, real problems of you know getting to Canada or having loved ones get to Canada who they'll never see again, uh, or even getting people to Canada to help them uh, deal with family issues when somebody's dying with cancer and they need help. Those kinds of real everyday uh, issues. In Ottawa, I think I'll miss the ability to influence public policy. Uh, you know, like bills like the Canada's access to medications regime years ago that the Grandmothers for Africa fought so hard for and able to influence uh, the vote uh, on those kinds of uh, on those kinds of issues. And and frankly, more recently, the ability to uh, help our veterans. Uh, I have never been able to empathize more with any group of people, um, largely because of being the veterans critic, but uh, than I have with, with veterans. It's just remarkable, the suffering that's out there. And uh, I'm going to miss the opportunity to be in Ottawa, uh, pressing, holding the government's uh, feet to the fire. Honestly, when I came up here, I, I thought there, it would be a more collaborative exercise. I come from a community where everyone collaborates, it doesn't matter. Uh, what your political stripe may have been, people sit around a table and find common ground. Uh, I'm not going to miss uh, being shut out of the conversation uh, because majority governments are just not interested in listening to what you have to say, uh, either in the House or even uh, at committee work when, uh, you know, after listening to witness after witness after witness, committees go into camera and government, you know, members start sanitizing reports and removing from reports you know, <laughs> evidence that was given that conflicts with their ideology. Uh, and I'm not going to miss question period. I'm not going to miss question period because, frankly, for a long time, my stomach has been turning, uh, trying to get answers and uh, not, not getting answers. And it, it really it sickens you to the point where I, I've told people in Guelph, it's not question period, it's therapy period where the opposition members get to get up, get to get up and tell the government how most of Canada is feeling and how they're thinking and getting it off their chest, emoting uh, and somehow making themselves feel better.